Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a February reset vlog. As you guys can see, I am going to be doing my calendar and setting up my February decor. So, <clears throat> this is the continuation of my reset. I literally just got home. I was like booking it. Mind you, I don't want to say I didn't feel horrible, but it's that time of the month. So, sorry, the whole day I was like, is it time to go yet? Like, it's so bad, but like, but I was just ready <clears throat> to go home because my stomach, like, it was so weird. It's like, it was off and on, but like, after I eat my dinner which i ordered food so i was booking it <laughs> and if you're in new york city a new york city or i don't think any other state says booking it but that's here it goes my new york city slang i promise i speak proper but sometimes i have the new york city slang i mean i was born here anyway long story short i was rushing because um i saw amazon i quick mini check rant with amazon if i order something please do not put it like most times when I get packages just in case they may put it under like the car or something if nobody's home that's smart I'll just grab it from under one of the cars in my house no they literally put it right in front of my door now luckily I was the first one to get home today so I'm like here walking fast hoping nobody took my package because they sent a picture so I didn't so long story short I didn't realize that I accidentally signed up for a prime for um the free prime though the you know how they always have the trial um so i must have pressed it on accident didn't realize it and because of that anything i order sometimes it comes with you know like the rule number two days one day but something that i ordered i just got my packages as you guys can see they were luckily still there when i opened the door i mean when i got to the door um oh that's my food one second hello yes i'm coming to the door now Alright you guys, now I can relax. Like I felt like I was walking so quickly. Like I said, I was ru rushing because my food, even though I ordered my food like maybe three stops on the train, and because I, I have to walk from my train station. It's not too far of a walk, but I still have to walk. Um, I'm like, oh, they're not going to come. Like once I looked at my phone, I didn't even realize I got a, had a, got a text like as I was walking. Oh, your food's on the way. And then literally as I was talking to you guys, my phone started ringing. Anyway, I got my food. Um, but I was going to show you guys, I wore my Black History Month top that I got from, oh, I thought somebody was here. I had to do the quick turn, you know, because I know I'm the only one in the house. Like, what's that? And I know I locked the door. Um, but, yeah, because, you know, it's Black History Month. Now, I'm going to say this all the time. I'm Black 366 because this year we have extra, is leap year. 366 days of the year. But. I'm gonna rep a thing and like to be very honest in my job I'm probably currently at least in my school because our schools are two different co-look two different school buildings that if that makes sense my school specifically but in the elementary school 
our elementary school, I'm the only black co-worker. Like, I just thought about it. But yes, I am the only black co-worker. So yeah, let's leave. I'm going to let everybody know it's Black History Month. I'm going to wear black history related things. Um, but also, like I showed you guys yesterday, I have some, uh, what do you call this? Um, decor. I showed you my thing. I changed my door before, before black history, but I'm going to keep it. It says I am black history on it. Um, and then I showed you guys I hang up my poster and then the top that says black history month. Um, but we have a few, I have to add something else because we just got an email today. Um, but you know what? I'm hungry, so let me not chatter chatter like I'm not hungry because now I actually am getting hungry. Um, so I'm going to take you guys upstairs with me. Um, yeah, let me take my phone actually. I'm taking my headphones. Honestly, I don't need my headphones because nobody's here. So I'm not going to take my headphones. I'm going to leave them. When nobody's here, I can kind of like, I like, I'm not saying that I don't like when everybody's here, but I feel like when you're home alone sometimes, at least when you live with other people, because I live with my family. If you live by yourself, you live by yourself, who cares? But you can't be as noisy, like, you know, you don't want to annoy other people. When I'm in my room, I don't care. Like, of course, I'm going to have to blab because I'm in my room. But when I'm not in my room, I have to be, you know, considerate of other people. So I don't have things loud. But because I know I'm going to be here for um for maybe about an hour of silence to myself i'm going to just be as loud as i want i want to show you guys my slippers but i'm holding like 10 different things so we're just gonna walk upstairs first as i was saying i forgot oh i want to show you guys my slippers i i got them from tiktok shop sorry i'm trying to fix them because i like the thing is you have to lift your foot is one of those shoes. Anyway, aren't these cute? I got pink little slippers and your whole foot goes in them. So they're not like, I don't know if you guys see that. You see that? My whole foot goes inside. Fix this camera. Let me fix you guys. And by the way, I'm not a TikTok shop influencer by any means. I don't get paid to promote. I just will gladly share links with you guys for stuff that I genuinely like. And I think these are cute, so if you guys want them. And I think it's also befitting for the February month. Cause if you guys may or may not notice, the decor that I put is pink related, um, plus Black Christian month intertwined. So the pink shoes just are giving it top notch. And my other slippers are actually pink. That wasn't planned. Also the, the pink ones weren't planned, but they were cute, so I got them. And I don't have a favorite animal favorite if anybody's wondering. Again, just thought they were cute. Um, I might say some of this honestly. I'm going to tell you, I think I've said this before, but if you're new here, um, I just feel like I'm going to get Chinese food today because um, I'm tired of the spots by my house. I had to literally have this delivered to my house, and I know, I'm telling you, that delivery man was probably looking at me like, why is she delivered it to her house? There's two cars. First off, I have a life I do not like to drive. That's number one. Number two, I was coming from work to, for me to like, if I drove, that was different. If I actually generally love to drive, even though I have my license, if I did like to drive, then I would have just ordered and picked it up. Because the place is not too far from my house. But, I got this like drive thing, so I had to order it. I know he's looking at me like, I mean, I gave him a tip, so, I mean, I'm going to give it to physically. Sometimes, I don't know, he thought I didn't give him a tip, and that's why he's side-eyeing me, or he was side-eyeing me because I, I, there's two cars in my driveway, and I, I ordered it. Oh, well, at least I know I'm a little conscious because I gave a tip, at least, you know, for you to drive to my house. I gave you a tip. Um, but... If you're wondering what I'm eating, I mean, I can turn it around. I generally get all the time, or I might get tofu, but I decided to get this. This is general too, chicken with rice and broccoli. That's it. Pretty simple. And as you can see, right at first sight. So generally, I watch the first like the episode by myself, and I and I crack myself up and critique in my in my mind, obviously. And then I go to YouTube, and there's a, a creator who does Merida at first sight review. I really like her. It's really funny. Um, I watch hers after just to recap, but I don't like to write the, re the recap until I've watched the actual episode because then that would ruin it for me. Now, what happened to the fork? Anyway, 
Let me let me stop chatting with you. That's ten minutes of me about to be talking to you guys. I'm gonna eat my my dinner. I don't want my hair in my face because I'm about to brush my teeth and hop in the shower. I got a set of sharpeners. I'll need one, but when one breaks, you gotta figure. These are the settler. I literally bought this yesterday. That's the only thing about good thing about Prime. I'm on the free trial but on accident. I didn't I didn't I was trying to pre-order, long story short, I was trying to pre-order a book for my brother because he likes this current series that he likes. And I guess I didn't hit no thanks. I normally hit no thanks on when they like, do you want to be part of the free trial? I didn't hit no thanks. So, guess what? I'm on free trial. Talking about that, I need to make sure I put on my phone to cancel the trial before. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the trial because it is good to get your products quicker than later if that makes sense now i'm trying to see what's in here because so that wasn't the first package just i sometimes i feel like they waste package look, look at this this whole box you guys i cannot make this up i got this whole box for just a pack of sharpies all right i thought my bonnet was in here that's why i was excited to open this but my bonnet is not in here so i'll be rocking this bonnet i am gonna get in the bonnet tomorrow i think because um this other, I'm tired of the beauty supply store bonnets. I do not recommend them because unless like it's you're gonna get it from a black owned business or like a good notable business. This one I actually got from I believe if it wasn't it was either one of the chains, Burlington, TJ Maxx, or I think it was TJ Maxx though. It was definitely TJ Maxx. Um they had a two set. I gave my sister one at the time and then this one. But after a while it gets loose. Like as you guys can see, like the front doesn't stay up. So like what would happen is it'll fall off. Now I have another one, which is this one that I always normally wear, but it started to stain my pillow again. So I guess that's why I'm like I'm stopping you to use this. This holds it good, but also anyway at some point I was gonna throw it out because all these stuff mind you I think this was like ten dollars because it was like Keisha Cole like I guess it was a model for them but like all the jewels and everything came off majority of them um, and it stains too much I had another one from the beast supply store same thing so I saw this one on Amazon it had like very high rating I saw it yesterday I'm like I'm buying it it was $16 but I'm like I'm buying it because I spent about almost 12 I think on this one and it's not even that good of quality this one is good but like I said like my hair stays in it is the top that likes to fall off. That's the annoying, annoying part. That's why I wanted another one. So this is gonna be a quickly recap of January and goals for February. Now I'm gonna try to do this very quick because it's time for me to go back to sleep. Initially, so first goal since we're on it is continuing it and finishing this book this month. I did finish last month. I finished um. I answered a picture on the side here because I don't feel like getting the book because it's almost time for me to go back to bed and the reason why I said back to bed I was in the midst of reading this but I was so cozy in my bed and I think too a mixture of me being cozy and then me being sleepy and of course I fell asleep this book fell out my hand a few times and then I guess at some point I just knocked out and I didn't realize um, and so initially my plan was to sleep I mean to shower early and then I would end up waking up at 9 something which was like 10 minutes ago so I literally took like the fastest shower ever but I just like I have a thing of not taking a shower at night especially um during my cycle so anyway I took a very like a very quick shower um and but so that's number one so I want to continue reading books. My goal for this year, if you're new here, is really f at least four books or more. But four is the goal. I already read one in full. Um, excuse me. Uh, number two, um, for this month, I have a lot of content that I've written down in my planner. I'm not going to go through all of it, but I do have a good set of content, especially for like TikTok but as well as youtube so working on that content and dropping that for you guys um also uh we'll go for february because i do have break which i've said this a couple of times i have a break coming up in i look at the calendar it's gonna be we have two more weeks um to the break um i definitely have i already have for one day no actually for two days i have two things planned so i will try to probably do a weekly vlog i'm still like unsure i think i'm gonna do a weekly vlog that week 
Um, for you guys, that's what I have on my calendar. But I also have other things first in February in between. Um, so that's well, also we're continuing our soul dates. I think I'm gonna have a point like maybe two this time around, two or three solo dates this time. Um, I definitely want to do a movie solo date. I have that on my agenda because, excuse me, there's a movie of the Bob Barley movie that's coming out. I'm contemplating going to watch that. That's coming on February 14th. But since my break is the following week, I'm just waiting for my break. I never, I cannot do movies during the week. It's just not ideal because I have to be up by 5 o'clock um, for you see, I'm so tired. That's why I'm trying to like just speed through this real quick. Um, it's again, that wasn't a full sleep. That was just like a nap. And I guess I was so so tired. So now, like, I'm like trying to stay up, but I'm still sleepy. So I'm, I know I'm a knockout. Um, so yeah, trying to do that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else for. Okay, so oh yes, for quarter one. So quarter one, these three months, I've not planned March as yet. Um, February, we have a lot of, like, spurt days in my job. Tomorrow's one. Luckily, before I dozed off, I already showed my clothing. That's why I'm kind of, like, a little lax. But anyway, like, it's already 9.43. So, like, I don't really have much time to chill. Um, very little time. Um, but anyway, um... I forgot what to say. Like, so, so tomorrow we're doing, like, a couple of things on my job. So, it's hard. We're... Um, kids are doing like a heart challenge for gym and stuff like that from like it started from I forgot what date but anyway tomorrow is our spirit day so we're red so I do have I happen to have a red top because I bought one last year for when I did the if you check my November reset um, when I did the dress as a storybook character thing so I happen to have that red top that's the red top that I had so that was perfect Next week we have a we have a bunch of like I have it on my calendar. I had to add one more because we got an email tomorrow. I mean today, uh, we're blue because we're also doing this like climate action thing. All public schools are doing it apparently. Um, so the color for tomorrow, I mean tomorrow next week would be red for one of the days. Um, and the following oh no, in that same week it's a hundred day the hundredth day of school. And the following week, um, every week before we go on break, we always get a what's called a wellness day. The Friday of before we go on the break. So it's kind of pretty much like a chill day for kids to draw, do activities, whatever. It's supposed to be a chill day for staff, but like honestly, I've never felt like it was a chill day for me. Um, the most chill I guess is like sometimes if there's time I'll probably do like the, some of the art stuff with them, the kids. Like that's how I have my wellness. But other than that, there's nothing. I never feel like we staff can really have wellness because you know what I mean. Like I don't know how to explain it. But it's also we're gonna have pajama day. Honestly, I'm not with the wearing my pajamas on the train. I don't know. Like I just it's just weird to me. But I'm thinking of wearing my pajama shop because nobody's gonna see that I have a jacket on, and then bring my pajama bottoms to switch. That's that's what I think I'm gonna do, and then when I come back, when I when I go back home, obviously I'll switch. I probably just wear honestly because it's Friday too. I might just wear like leggings or something, something very easy that I can slip on and slip off. Um, and then when I go back home, same thing. I don't care about the top because I'll have a jacket on nobody you know, but the pants, yeah, it's just weird for me to wear them. Um, and so that's the rundown. And then like I said, the following week I have a whole break. A whole week that's um our midwinter recess break and then we have like a few more days of february and then we go into march um so yeah so but yeah back to quarter one that's i see i was all over the place i forgot so quarter one the first three months march i oh, so far i have one batch of content for sure that i have to film for march um and that's hair content so but we're not even March yet so I'm not gonna even think about it right now but and something some stuff that I already discussed in my vision board um just continuing doing that so like self-love I already just talked about soul dates but also I didn't I have not used my self-love book um for the past couple of days because honestly I've just been tired when I get home like today is a prime example I'm about to get right back in my bed <laughs> at least now i'm showered and everything so i'm about to go straight back into my bed and just knock out i'm tired like i can't like sometimes i feel like i'm just so tired 
that it's hard to even stay up to want to do something you know what I mean like I have to be fully like I have to do it like when I first get home if I'm not tired that is and today I happen to be extremely tired but so yeah that and then read my bible continues to read my bible devotional I've been I will applaud myself last month I did really 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 good with that um if I didn't read my physical bible I was reading my bible on my bible app which I do like in the mornings that's what I did this morning specifically oh I need to read my phone it got some stuff on it I need to clean that um see so yeah, I've been really doing really good with that that's what I did this morning actually I read it on my phone um and then I have been doing good with making sure I Oh my god, I lost the page on. Yeah, that I read my devotional. I see I had it on my bed because normally I'm like rushing out, so I leave it on my bed and then I and I, I leave in the mornings. But yeah, I've been good at like reading my devotion every day. Um so yeah, proud of myself for that. That was one of the biggest goals. Uh like continuously keeping reading my Bible, staying in devotion to start off my day, so the tone for my day and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm done chitter chatting. Now it's like what 9:50 probably. Yeah, 9:49 to be exact. But I wanted to just give you all, you guys, a quick rundown. And I'm gonna. Go to hey guys, so I'm gonna be giving you a little Target haul now. I did purchase this with my own money, but I am excited to announce that I am a Target um, partner. I got accepted into the Target program. So if you do see all affiliated links. I just got a small commission, so if you want to support, it is very much appreciated. But anyway, um, I did buy some Tula skincare. I have used the cloths of cleanser already. Um, I like that. But I wanted to get a cleansing oil because if I saw my last vlog, I was talking about that. I need to double cleanse. So that's what I'm showing you guys here. And then I also got a matcha latte. I forgot to mention that. That's new. I haven't tried that. This. And then I also bought um, Black Girl Sunscreen, which is a good and faith. I already have that, which I bought from Target previously. So now I'm going in with the cleansing oil. Like I said, this is new to me, but um, I'm trying to double cleanse at least three times in a week. And then I went in after with the cleansing oil. Now, so far, I've been using it and it hasn't broken me out so far i've used a cult classic in the past i got it from target as well but the smaller bottle um but this the time i got the bigger size because i wanted to use the same brands yeah i'll leave the links down below if you guys are interested in trying them but again i just get a small commission if you do purchase but you're not forced to purchase but if you'd like to try it i was trying to like get a brand that was good for clearing up my face so the last part of the video i am just going to use these pill socks because i'm in need of a good like peel of the calcium under my feet i got this in my local beauty supply well it wasn't in my local beauty supply but i got this in the beauty supply store in the mall um and then i just put them on very simple but i whatever else i edited i accidentally edited on another sd card so i was like i don't know i'm going to transfer it so we're going to end this video abruptly with um we're trying to talk so anyway make sure you like, comment subscribe if you fish and don't subscribe button hope you guys enjoyed this february reset and i'll see you guys in the next one